Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today we're going to be designing this charming farmhouse style magnolia wreath. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna take this repurposed twig wreath and remove the pine cones and greenery. I am gonna save a few of the little twigs to use in a bird nest in another project. I did purchase two bunches of the magnolia flowers from Dollar Tree, and you're gonna to wanna to cut these off very short. I also purchased two bunches of the greenery from Michaels. And I'm going to use some of my leftover greenery from Hobby Lobby. In this design, I'm going to place my flowers and greenery off to one side and near the bottom of the wreath. And I'm just going to mix the greenery and the magnolia flowers in between each other in this design. And what you need to do is just keep building the greenery and the flowers until you get a look that you like to see. Now I found this little chicken wire picture frame at Dollar General and I'm sure they still have those. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the little sheep. We'll use him in another project. And then I'm just gonna take some white chalk paint and paint over the picture frame and the chicken wire. Now I'm gonna take some of my wood letters and go ahead and paint those with some black chalk paint. And I'm using my little tape trick here again and this will help hold the letters down so they won't move. You'll want to cover your letters completely with the black chalk paint. I was able to do that with just one coat. Now I am going to go ahead, like I said, and just touch up this picture frame with the white chalk paint. And then I am going to sand it just a little to give it more of that roughed age look. I just wanted to share with you these little wipes that I get from Dollar General. They're great to remove paint from your item in your hands. Now I decided to just do a diagonal fit with the word welcome. And I did go ahead and decide to add a little bit of the white chalk paint over the black just so the letters would stand out a little bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my greenery and my flowers all glued down to the wreath. I probably will go back and do some wiring on this wreath later on. And just keep working and maneuvering your flowers until you get all of the areas and gaps filled in to the look that you would like to see. And as you can see, I found one of my little butterflies that I purchased at Dollar Tree and decided to add that to the top of my welcome sign. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just wire this little sign on now because it was kind of hard to get that glued down. And I kind of took my uh, little sprigs of greenery that favored the thyme leaves and I just kept filling in all the areas that I wanted it to have just a little more body to the form of the wreath. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few of these little dogwood flowers, kind of trailing down underneath the magnolia flowers. And I will add a few of these up to the top also and down through the side. And as you're building your wreath, just stand back and take a look and just whatever you'd like to see, just place your flowers there. Now I am gonna go ahead and make just some of these little simple chicken wire bows. And you'll just fold them over, scrunch them in the middle, and I'm just gonna tie the center with a piece of rope twine. Now we're gonna go ahead and just place a few of these little chicken wire bows throughout the wreath. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in a few of the areas with some more of my thyme greenery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take just a few of the little dogwood flowers and add them to the top of the wreath. And then I went ahead and added my rope twine hanger to the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that same rope twine, which is a little larger, and cut it in about two inch strips and just tie one little loop knot. And then I'm gonna glue a few of these throughout the wreath. Now to finish this design, I'm gonna go ahead and add a wood board to the back of the wreath and place a little miniature wheelbarrow right in the center. And this will give you a little accent piece that you can add a little bird, a little bunny. I will show you where I just added a couple of the little pink Easter eggs. And there we go, a beautiful farmhouse style magnolia wreath. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And I will see you next time.